With the mild winter, experts are warning eggs of lanternflies may hatch earlier this spring. The invasive insects from Asia prey on more than 70 different types of trees. Alicia Roberts shows you how to recognize those eggs. So the biggest issue with invasives is that they have no natural predators. The spotted lanternfly is back in the Delaware Valley. Jason Parker is an arborist from Davy Tree Company in Horsham. What we've got is a maple here. Um, they are definitely one of the favorite trees of the lanternfly. Lanternflies suck the chlorophyll out of trees, weakening their branches and limbs, and are especially threatening to crops, including grapes, apples, and blueberries. You're going to see them start to crack and break open. And again, then they're susceptible to those secondary pests. Right now, lanternfly eggs laid last fall are nested on the bark of trees. You can see them in these white spots up and down this maple. It's whitish gray, um, cracked, slightly raised. While these eggs are still about two to four weeks away from hatching, unfortunately, there's really not much you can do until that happens. The effectiveness of doing any sort of oil treatment, which is the only thing they've really tested on eggs, is not there. Jason says wait until the flies mature to start killing them, either by stomping on them one by one or using a dish soap and water spray to suffocate them, something you can spray directly onto a tree. It's a couple teaspoons of dish soap in a spray bottle full of water is going to be plenty to kill them. The first U.S. sighting of the lanternfly was actually in Berks County, Pennsylvania back in 2014. Since then, it spread to 14 states, including New Jersey and Delaware. I think we're going to be in all 50 states pretty soon. For now, Jason says do your part. Monitor trees on your property that you think might be host species. Get a management plan in place. Noting everyone gone matters in the long run. Every um, lanternfly lays 30 to 50 eggs. That's 30 to 50 less that are going to be here next year. Alicia Roberts, CBS News, Philadelphia.